It's 120. It discusses simulation. A simulation is an imitation of a situation or process. Video games are simulations of situations such as racing a car or playing a professional sport. Pilots learn to fly in simulators before they actually take control of an airplane. In probability, simulations are used to model events. Mama Sweet Tooth Bakery has a cupcake vending machine with eight different flavors of cupcakes. One of the buttons on the machine says surprise, and when selected, the machine randomly dispenses one of the eight flavors of cupcakes. Assuming there are the same number of each flavor of cupcake in the machine, which of the experiments described could be used to simulate the results of selecting the surprise button on the vending machine? So this gives me eight flavors. Which means I can have eight outcomes or multiple of eight because it says assuming there are the same number of each flavor. Um, there's a surprise button that's involved. So I need eight outcomes. You're on uh Oh whoops. I need eight outcomes minimum. At least. So the first situation talks about rolling a six-sided number cube. Gentlemen, if I see you on your watches, I will take them. You need to be paying attention. You need to be on page 120. One of you is not. Move your lunchbox so I can see your entire desk. Turn to page 120. Get focused. Rolling a six-sided number cube. How many outcomes did I say I needed? Eight. eight. Is a number cube going to give me eight outcomes? No. So I should already know that this is wrong. How many outcomes are possible in the vending machine? Eight. How many outcomes are possible on a number cube? Six. This is not a simulation because the number of possible outcomes does not match. Looking at the next one, placing the following tiles in a bag, one, one, two, two, three, three, all the way to eight, eight, and then drawing one tile without looking. How many numbers are here? 16. 16. Kind of 16 outcomes, but it's technically eight because it's eight different flavors. What is the probability of receiving any one flavor of cupcake in the vending machine? One out of eight, because there are eight different ones to choose from. Then what is the probability of drawing any one number from the bag? What does it say? Two out of 16, Two out of 16 which simplifies to what? One. Eight. Which is also? 125 thousandths. What is this as a percent? You can go ahead and sharpen your pencil. This is 12.5%. Good. So this could be a possible simulation because the probability of drawing one number is the same as the probability of receiving each flavor of cupcake. Spinning a spinner with 16 sections. This has 16, this has 16. So far it sounds good. But let's continue to read to see if it's correct. Red, red, yellow, yellow, blue, 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 green, green, purple, 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 orange, orange, brown, black. What's wrong here? They're not even. They're not the same number of chances of getting chosen. Okay, these are all the same number. None of these are, well, a couple of them are the same, but it's not consistent. So it tells us here that the different fractions are not equivalent. So it's not a simulation. All right, moving on to try it. For number three, we're gonna skip that. Use the table to answer questions one through three. The table shows different students are entered in drawings for different prizes at the school carnival. How many students chose basketball? Five. Five. How many students chose to enter to win a gift card? Six. 
How many students chose? Okay, and then the last one. All right, keep those numbers in mind. I need five outcomes for a basketball. I need six outcomes for a gift card, three for candy jewelry, and two for a stuffed animal. Pilar rolls a six-sided die to simulate the possible results of the drawing for a gift card. Look at what I'm doing. Six-sided die is how many outcomes? Six. It's going to give me six outcomes. For the drawing of a what? A gift card. Would this be equivalent? On a number cube, does everyone have the same opportunity yeah. to get chosen? Yeah. Cool. So it says, explain how this experiment simulates the drawing. What did I just say? Everybody gets the same opportunity to win because the outcomes are yes. the same. Yes. Equal chances to win because the outcomes you should be writing are the same. It says describe a simulation using a spinner that could be used to represent the results of the drawing for the candy jewelry. You've never seen like a game spinner where you flick it and it spins? Um, you can't really have a three-sided wheel, but it does have to be it, it does have to involve three. It could be like a cylinder. The questions that we don't go over are going to be homework. Okay, I need y'all to get focused so you can get started on your homework so you might not have any. But all this talking means that you do want homework. All of it. So, what kind of spinner can I describe here? Um, what do I need to consider? Um, it's got to have to. It's got to involve three. It's got to have three outcomes. So, thinking about what spinners look like. If you don't know, flip to the next page. There's a picture of a spinner on there. So, what does this spinner need to look like? A spear is a ball. A circle. A circle with three lines. Three sections. Are they all the same or are they different? Thank you. Whoops, where's my eraser? This must be a spinner. With what? With three outcomes. What about those outcomes? What about, thank you, three equal sections. Okay, I'm going to do one question on page 121 and one question on page 122. Um, let's talk about Pablo. Pablo answers five true or false questions on a practice test for his driver's license. Which experiment could Pablo use to simulate answering the questions on the test? So, according to my simulation practice on this page, what did I need that was important here? What were these numbers? Okay, hold on. Keep that in mind. What did I need here? 
outcomes. The outcomes. So true or false gives me how many outcomes? Two. Two outcomes. But how many times do I need two outcomes? Five. So it would total up to be ten, but I only want something that's going to give me an, an opportunity to only have two outcomes, either yes or no, either black or white, okay, up or down, left or right. So this says rolling a standard die five times. If I have a standard die, how many outcomes will I have here? Be careful with the times. This is five times. But I want to know the number of outcomes on the die. On a number cube. Guys, 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 stop, stop. You're thinking too hardly. What did I write here first? Two. Two what? Outcomes. What did I write here only? The outcomes. So what am I looking for right now? The outcomes. So how many outcomes can I get here? For letter A, how many outcomes? Oh no, you can only get ten. I in one trial, in one of those times. I'm not repeating it. In one of those times, how many outcomes can I get? Stop tapping that pencil. One time. Ladies and gentlemen. You are rolling a number cube. What can you get when you roll a number cube? Six. Six. What numbers? One, 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 six, six, four, five, six. How many numbers did you just list? Six. Thank you. Six outcomes. I heard several answers, and some of y'all said ten. And you repeated the ten. Anyway, how many outcomes can I get on spinning a spinner with five sections? Five. Five outcomes. Five outcomes. You flip a coin. One. Two. Wait, two. Two. Because it's both cards. Randomly drawing tiles from a bag. One through five is what they're labeled. Five. Honestly, personally, I think. You need to. Okay, go on to page 122. Look at number one. A local blood drive predicts 40% of its donors will have type O blood. Which simulation could be used to model the number of donors that will have type O blood? How many outcomes, or what, how do I describe this outcome here? Um, point four. Point four. How else can I describe it? Four. No, nope. four what? Four, four tenths. Four tenths, good. What else? Four, one, four out one, of ten, good. Three. So what is my total? Ten. Ten. ten is what I'm looking for, okay? You're spinning two spinners with six equal sections. What's the total number of outcomes here? Six. Six. Draw one marble from a bag containing four white marbles and 10 purple marbles. What's the total number of outcomes here? 14. 14, good. Flipping a coin and rolling a die four times. Eight-ish. And then selecting one card from a set containing four red cards and six black cards. Ten. Ten. And I think you can figure out which one's your winners. 